In this video, you'll see how to set up drop down lists where you can select a region in one cell and in the next cell, choose an employee from that region. If you change the region, a different list of employees shows up in the cell. We'll be using Excel's new functions, unique, sort, and filter to create dynamic arrays and the list will be based on those. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. On this worksheet, we have two green cells where we're going to create drop down lists. And in this one, we want to have a list of the regions. They're all listed here, but they're repeated in this list. And in our drop down, we just want each region name to show up once. We're going to use one of Excel's new functions to create a list of the unique region names. I'm going to put a heading here. I'll just type reg. And in cell D7, I'm going to create a formula to pull a unique list of region names. So in this cell, I'm going to type equals unique. If you don't see unique in this list, then your version of Excel doesn't have dynamic arrays yet. And there are other methods you can use to create your drop down lists. But if you do see unique, double click and you're ready to tell it where this array is that you want to pull unique values from. I want to use the region list. Now you can drag over it and that will create the table names. You see how it changed to employee, this table employee, and it's pulling from the region. Or you could type A2 to A11 and close that bracket, press enter and it creates a list with all your regions and you can see a blue border around it. If you select anything other than the first cell, you can see the formula, but it's dimmed out in the formula bar. If you go to the top cell, you're able to change the formula here. So now we have a nice list of our regions, but I would prefer to see those names in alphabetical order. So I'm going to edit this formula. And instead of just unique, I'm going to use the new sort function. So I'll click right after the equal sign and type sort and an open bracket. I'll go right to the end and type another closing bracket and press enter. And there's our same list, but now it's in alphabetical order. Now that this list is ready, I'm going to use data validation to create a drop down list in cell F2. I'll select that cell and on the data tab, click data validation. And in here, we want to allow a list. For the source, we want to use this list. So I'll type an equal sign and I'm going to click on the first cell in this list, which is D7 and to tell Excel that we want to use this whole list, this dynamic array, I'm going to type a spill operator, which is the number sign and then click OK and click the drop down arrow. And there's our list of items. In cell G2, we want to show a list of employees for this region that we've selected. So we have our whole list of employees here and column A tells us which region they're in. We're going to use another one of Excel's new formulas to create an employee list over here. So we'll have the region name first and then the employee name. So I'm just going to copy these two headings and paste them here just as reference. They're not needed, but nice to have. And in this cell, we're going to create our formula. What we want to do is filter this list and only pull out the records for, in this case, the East region. I'll start with an equal sign and type filter and open bracket. And we want to filter a specific array and I'm going to select all the region and employee names. So it's picked up the name of our table and then a comma. Then we have to tell Excel what to include. So we want to include any rows where this region name, so it's picked up the table and column name here and is equal to the region name that we selected in cell F2. Click on that, close the bracket and press enter. Here's another dynamic array. You can see the blue border. 
We've got East here and the two employee names. We'll test it. We'll select a different region. So there's the South and there are four names. And again, just like last time, the names are not in alphabetical order. So we're going to sort those. I'll go back to the cell that has the formula, click in front of the filter function, type sort, open bracket, and here we'll type a comma at the end because we have to tell it this time how we want to sort. Last time we just had one column, so Excel just sorted that. But here, the sort index should be our second column. So I'll type a two and close the bracket, press enter, and now it's sorted our list by the second column. Now that we have the list of employees, we can create a drop-down list in cell G2. We're going to use data validation, but instead of a simple reference to the starting cell here, we want Excel to use the second column. To do that, we'll use the index function in the data validation rule. And if I type index here, you'll see that it needs an array, and that's going to be our dynamic list. Then we can specify a row number, but we're not interested in, in a specific row. We want to tell it to use column two from this array. So we're going to be using this in our data validation. Now here, with G2 selected, go to data, data validation. And again, we want a list. And here we're going to type our index formula. Start with an equal sign, type index open bracket, click on the cell that starts the dynamic array, just like we did for the region, and type the spill operator, which is a number sign, and then a comma. So that's the array that index needs. I'm going to just type another comma because we're not interested in a specific row, and if we leave that blank, it will include all the rows, and then type two because we want the second column, close the bracket, and click OK. Now check the list, and it shows these same names that we have here. Choose a different region, East, and it should now just show Al and Gil, and there they are. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com, to get this workbook, and please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.